We're back from vacations with some specials. From a book to a movie, but which really translates into a prolific and magnificent romance novelist. Then, moving to the end of a long saga and more. Let's dive right into this issue. Welcome to a new edition of Fake News. Find my book picks for this month and save time choosing what to read next. It's hard finding a book that shines above the others. And sometimes, when you do find it, it's not just a book, but an author. Have you found a writer that no matter what they publish, their work is amazing? For me, this is the case for Colleen Hoover. She has an extensive collection of books, and of course, I haven't read them all. However, those I've read are all masterpieces in their own way. Her style is perfectly translated into her pages. There's always this very tragic and real difficulty to deal with. Her characters are touching, profound, authentic. You feel so many things when reading her, and so far, honestly, there's no book I haven't truly liked. Some are just too much in their heartbreak. There is one I repeatedly read, Ugly Love, and there are others that I just remember fondly, but can't stand going through all that hardship over and over again. So, in this issue, I'm gonna give you my top three from the books I've read from her. Feel free to comment below if you have read her, which are your favorite books if so, and which I should definitely read or add to this list. Before we continue, if you watch my videos before and enjoy them, I want to ask you the favor of clicking the subscribe button. It would help this channel grow and produce better and better content. Are you on? Thank you so much. My top three books from Colin Hoover are Ugly Love, It Ends With Us, and Reminders of Him. As I said earlier, I don't know how many times I've gone through Ugly Love. There's something about the passion the main characters have, the excruciating past from the male protagonist, and how he opens up to her that keeps hooking me. This is a must read, you guys. Now, moving on to It Ends With Us, her classic. I believe this was the first book I read from her and I haven't been able to forget about it. It's such an excruciating read. As you may already know, the main topic here is domestic violence. The courage Hoover had to write this having been inspiring her own personal life and not only given us in a fictional setting a part of her soul, but also a deeper understanding of such a complicated and delicate problem. And I propose this book, its movie is really good, very faithful to the story and as touching. Finally, reminders of him, another difficult life story where the main character involves herself with someone connected to her past mistakes. A way to forgiveness or redemption, but with a very bumpy and painful road ahead. So what do you think about these topics? If you don't know Colleen Hoover, this is as good as any time to get familiar with this stellar romantic writer. This is no silly, cheesy, rose color right reading. This is beautiful romance true love, painful even, and as realistic as it can be. Moving to the releases of this month, here are my top two books. From author Raven Kennedy comes the finale to a favorite series, The Blader Prisoner. In Goldfinch, I guess we'll discover how Oren will shine at the end and how her love story with Slade will come to, hopefully, a happy ending. Six books for an anticipated closure. Hey, couldn't resist temptation and find yourself in the library but don't know what to pick? Download my on-the-go guide to your mobile so that you can carry an interesting selection of books all the time right at your fingertips. And moving to romance, Stephanie Archer releases the third book in her series Vancouver Storm, a new hockey player, a new love story where best friends will get a chance for more. 
If you want to explore more about the vast literary world of fanroom books, be so kind as to check all the links I'll be leaving below this video. Finding what to read next and narrowing your options have never been easier. Thank you for watching. See you soon.